since I'm still waiting for the temperature to stabilize here, I'm gonna show you a uh, newly acquired power beater we got. This is a uh, Fair Vega and this is the power meter head that it comes with. It can take less than 0.1 watt per millimeter square. You can manually put in your laser frequency, which is awesome, I think. The default setting is uh, 633. You can add more. Let's see. Yeah, here's none. Let's see if we can add this. Another one I want. 532. 532 nanometers. Done. Cool. Say And you want to make sure there's a filter. Uh, sitting here sometimes. This one this one comes with a filter. Uh, you can take it out. There we go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There. Bam. That's the filter. That's the bare detector. The 0.1 watt per millimeter square is the, I think that's the spec for the filter, but if you take a filter out, I suspect it can take much less than that. I actually don't know this detector very well since I've only used it twice. If you're measuring something in a micro watt range, I would use the bare detector but if you're gonna go up to milliwatt I would use a filter. Make sure filter is in. Filter is in. I'm going to turn this off and see if it remember my wavelength setting that I just added. I hope it does. That would be convenient. So okay I restarted it. It's back to 633. What's the option here? Okay it doesn't remember 532. Oh I, I have to hit save. Oh yeah, there's a save button here. Let's try again. Five, three, two. Enter and save. There it is. There's a save button. Can you see it? Save. Now I'm gonna turn it off. Turn back on again. So the laser is back to 633, but... Oh fuck, it doesn't remember. What the hell? What's the point of save? 